There's a lot of down bad, depressed, and lonely people in this world. And when people are down bad, you know they're going to be listening to some down bad music. So today, we're going to categorize this music on the down bad music compass. Your favorite artist will fit somewhere between these two axes autistic to neurotypical, and male manipulator to virgin. And since down bad music exists in every genre with lots of artists to choose from, we decided to match them with the kind of person we think would listen to them. Loser Core. We call our first group Loser Core because they have some of the classic sad boy heavy hitters mixed in with a few current contenders. If you like one of these guys, you'll probably listen to the rest of them. You also never got more than five laps on the fitness gram pacer test. Radiohead. So I think that Radiohead is probably the quizessential pure virgin band. Yeah. It's too wide of a fan base to be too towards neurotypical or towards autistic. So I'm going to say it's like pure quizessential virgin. Weezer. I've seen guys on all ends of the spectrum drum, no pun intended, listening to this band. So I actually want to put them purely in the middle. It's the most pure form of down bad music. Elliot Smith. Elliot Smith, that is a difficult one. I'd say if I was to put Elliot Smith anywhere, so he's definitely further down on the neuro, the neurotypical sphere, leaning towards virgin. You know, it's very intimate and emotional, um, but not so emotional to the point where it's like, you know, you'd have to be some kind of- You could be like a well-developed person. Exactly. Yeah. My first instinct is gonna be towards the left x-axis, so a bit towards male manipulator, because I think we've all known a guy who is a Tame Impala fan, and he's really eager to impress a girl by telling him that Tame Impala is actually just one guy. If I was to put Tame Impala anywhere, I'd put Tame Impala towards the neurotypical sphere. Definitely male manipulator because I just, I can't imagine like anybody that autistic listening to Tame Impala. It's not like their right. fans are like total like, you know. The biggest losers are like socially no. inadequate. But then there's also like a lot of songs about getting cucked and, you know, getting embarrassed because someone took your girl or whatever it might be. And you would have to have a girl in the first place to get her stolen. Therefore, exactly. we're going to lean towards neuro typical male manipulator. Panchico. When I really think about Panchico, I just think about being online. 4chan. 4chan, Well, well yeah. they, got, they got big off of 4chan, so we're exactly. definitely going to be on the right side of this because of that. I don't know very many neurotypical people that know who this is. I'd say that's about a good spot. And there we go. There's Loser Core. Found it on TikTok. All of these artists have been around way before TikTok, but it seems like they've all been swamped with new gents who found them on TikTok, as the name applies. If you use TikTok at all, you've probably seen most of these artists used as an audio. Alex G. <laughs> you know, in my experience, I have met some male manipulators that are really into Alex G. I know there's a lot of girls who said they've been manipulated by guys who listen to Alex G. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not guilty here, just saying that, putting that out into the world. Because it's TikTok, which is a very normie-friendly platform, I'm going to give a slight edge to neurotypicals. Um, and while there might be like a little bit of autism or a little bit, a little bit of the tism in the fan base, mm -hmm. um, it still, I think, leans more towards the neurotypical side. Gorillas, their fan base now, knowing how much of like a real crazy fandom they are. And it's not like something that male manipulators listen to, you know? No, again, definitely not. Yeah. Um, or at least in the Gorillas fandom where it's like very nerdy and based off of like something animated. You're not yeah. going to have like a lot of like uh, male manipulators, it seems. I don't yeah. know. Maybe I'm wrong on yeah, that. I, I mean, no one's going to walk around and, and brag about being a gorillas fan for some sort of social attention or clout, no. you know, especially with women. Um, that actually reminds me, I saw a couple in the mall once that had matching gorillas cosplays, which I thought was kind of funny. So I guess if you're gorillas fans, you do have a chance with a girl. I think we could honestly put it right in the middle of the line for autistic, neither leaning towards male manipulator or virgin. Arctic monkeys. We're definitely going to favor strongly to male manipulator, and, and I'm going to say fairly strong into neurotypical. Yeah, hundred well. percent. Because like anything that's going to have a big female fan base is also going to have a pretty decently sized male manipulator fan base that's kind of leeching off of that fandom. I can't really imagine any femme cells listening to Arctic Monkeys. Backseat Lovers. Big TikTok music, like a quarter billion streams on their number one song. It's for guys that are indie, but also are like car guys. Tons of male manipulators. Uh, so it's going to be firm into male manipulator and pretty strong into neurotypical as well. There's nothing hyper masculine about it that would attract autistic folk, you know? Massive female fan base, just like Arctic Monkeys. Pixies. This guy uh, thinks he's Tyler Durden. Definitely on the, on the autism side, he, he may have watched a couple Fight Club AMVs before, but it's still that kind of indie 90s male manipulator sound. So this might be our first candidate that's going to be on the male manipulator but autistic side. What are you thinking? The one person I knew who liked, I'm not going to name them and I have no hate for them. Mm -hmm. The one person I knew that really liked the Pixies, way before the TikTok trend and everything, mm -hmm. they were way 
more on the side of virgin and um, not so much autistic. First of all, piecing this together, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean towards autistic uh, and I'm gonna lean towards male manipulator because I, I feel like that's that's gonna be a trend we're gonna see with, with indie in general especially uh, one as generic as the Pixies. What, what if we compromise? We pull it back a bit, but we still favor autistic. I think that's that's good. I think yeah. that, that, that seems to be pretty comprehensive. So, Duster. All right, so Duster, this one's going to be a speed run. Boom. Perfect. Enlightened hip-hop enjoyer. These are for the people who want to feel like they're cool for listening to alternative rap while not moving out of the mainstream whatsoever. Kanye, or Ye. I mean, look, at the end of the day, no matter how you feel about Kanye, I think it would be really just honestly fair to put him right smack dab in the middle. We could favor neurotypical due to the popularity for sure. He still has pullover things like fashion yeah. and things like, you know, different other artists. I mean, he's put a lot of other artists on, so. No one on the north side of this is going to have a pull on culture, on, on, like, on mass consumer norms culture death grips so obviously we're gonna favor autism when it comes to death grips and peggy probably gonna be over in the virgin category because because again fantano core Mew, 4chan core. No one who's a girl is going to be impressed by you knowing Death Grips. And even the girls that, I, that I've that i met that like Death Grips, um, they act like guy virgins, essentially, in a sense. I'm I agree with you. i over a bit to the right, then. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah I, I think I, that's I fair. Think that's pretty soft, yeah. MF Doom. Oh, wow, MF Doom. Honestly, nowhere near male manipulator tor- territory. It's not even like his fans are necessarily that autistic. I do that want, autistic. A vir- I, I want a virgin poll, though. He makes concept albums. The people who like his concept albums aren't even that autistic, per se. It's like someone who's neurotypical who but who's just like really nerdy about music could just okay. get themselves into the music okay. tyler the creator every guy even guys that weren't autistic were went through a tyler phase in middle school so we're definitely gonna be pulled over into neurotypical they're also influencing fashion as well you know mass consumer normie culture but i want to pull a bit towards virgin especially if it's the earlier like horror core da 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 threesome line the journey of tyler is also the journey of his fans Fans going from edge lord in middle school to being zest lord, but it does say slash odd future. I'm feeling a bit more male manipulator, not even because you're gonna impress an alt girl that's into rap, but just that type of guy probably has a few other tricks up his sleeves when it comes to finessing the dating pool. I could totally see that. I could totally see that. So I'm gonna do a slight favor towards male manipulator. Frank Ocean. So Frank Ocean, I think this one's pretty obvious. Strong pull towards neurotypical, pretty strong pull towards male manipulator as well. Uh, there's a lot of songs he has about being heartbroken, um, having an ex, um, relationships. Um, it's really not in virgin territory. They wouldn't be able to relate. I'm not the biggest fan of his. What more proof do you need? Our resident autistic virgin. Speaking of autistic virgin, if you want to get our shirts, click the link in the comments. It's there. Neopunkfm.com. Neopunkfm.com. Merch plug. Swedish K-hole. Look, if you listen to one or more of these artists, you're either really cringe or really based. We'll let you figure out which one applies to which. I kind of want to tackle all these at once. They all connect with each other, I think it's going to be a cascading effect. Un, de, toi. And why exactly are you going to put him there? So Young Lean is the coolest out of these. Young Lean had the most mass appeal. Still heavy internet core, heavy online core, big on TikTok. Blade is a second order consequence of Young Lean, and Cemetery is a third order consequence of Young Lean anyway. Yeah, it, it becomes increasingly more autistic more, more and more niche, niche and yeah. more virgin, yeah. Beep boop. You're an alt kid that was raised on the internet, but racing games and the SSX tricky soundtrack left an impression on you, and you've definitely tried or at least have been offered ketamine once. Aphex Twin. If we're talking about the kids that like him today, it's going to be way more autistic leaning. IDM, break core, break beat, whatever, jungle. And the kind of fans of that are just way more into the sphere of autism. But knowing that he is really becoming like a trend with a lot of normies, I've met a lot of girls who are, don't even know the first thing about Aphex Twin which is okay. He's been popular for so long. I'd put uh, Aphex Twin above Panchico to the left of Blade. We're high up into the sphere of autism. There is a virgin aspect, but knowing how his audience has evolved and grown, I think putting him just in that sphere of the JPEG Mafia, Death Grips, Panchico, mm-hmm. Blade, etc., there does seem to be some overlap between all those crowds anyway. Bjork. Bjork has got to go into male manipulator territory. Okay. It's hard to say whether it leans more towards autistic or neurotypical. Because it's like fantasy, fairy, princess, ice castle 
Elsa Frozen stuff, I'm exactly. gonna I'm gonna lean more into autism here. Maybe we can just put her right in the middle. Yeah, I think we could. I think we could put her right there actually, because I mean, if you look at her placement compared to people like Kanye West or some of the other big people we put I in mean, that sphere, she was headlining festivals, you know, X number of years ago. So Crystal Castles, not really autistic. There's just too uh, many normies. I mean, the fact that it's been made into so many different types of sounds on TikTok um, that they were popular back in the day with just all these hipsters, um, and they're still popular with kids today. Destroy Lonely has named them as an influence before, and he, he's a pretty popular, more normie-ish leaning artist. In order to put him on the chart, we should separate the fans from the artist. Okay. Um, and if we're talking about the fans here, pretty much as neurotypical as Kanye, because we're not hitting Elliot Smith territory, we're not hitting Arctic Monkeys territory. If we're just thinking about the fans here, yeah, I think putting it there probably works. Machine Girl. Very high up on the autistic virgin coin. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Not nearly as bad as Cemetery when it comes to virgin, autistic virgin. Underneath Blade and Drain, but still heavy on the virgin side. Yeah. I mean, it's got to go far over there. 100 Gex. So when I think 100 Gex, the last thing on my mind is neurotypical. We're at a 10.0 on the TISM scale. Out of nearly everything we have on here, I want to say they're... I want to say they're pure autism, not like other boys. This group is for boys who aren't like other boys because they listen to teeny bopper music in order to lower the defenses of surrounding women. If you look up Coquette Soft Boy on Pinterest, you'll find this guy. I think that all these artists are going to go pretty much in the same spot. Completely agree. Completely yeah. agree. Phoebe Bridgers, right there behind her. Strong male manipulator. Claro. Claro is going to be less neurotypical. It's still, it's still going to be heavy on, heavy on the male manipulator. Marina, I'm going to say... Above Arctic Monkeys. Yeah. Yeah. Glasses and Screaming. These are all bands that feature a singer that wears glasses and screams about girls and their feelings in relation to said girls. There are a lot more bands we could have added to this, but let's be real. They're all the same. First of all, strong on the autism because it takes a lot of mental bandwidth, with a lot of brain power to understand a 15, 16 time signature. However, unfortunately, we are going to have to lean a bit further to the left towards male manipulator because there are other things that are 15, 16 that they don't nearly have much of a problem associating with. Um, I'm feeling another cascading effect. This is almost like reading tea leaves. The Brits. Die in the life of a true Brexit geezer. What's the opposite of Radiohead? The Smiths. Pure male manipulator. They are the ultimate trope in male manipulator music. Morrissey pioneered the game. He wrote the blueprint on male manipulation via music. For The Cure, um, what do you think? I'm feeling more manipulator than Alex G. Teetering a bit towards neurotypical because no matter what people on the internet say, you don't have to be super autistic to understand the musings of, of Robert Smith. Joy Division, I think this one obviously is a bit closer towards autism. I mean, if you just look at any video of Ian Curtis singing, that would scare a normie. They'd be like, wait, no, what? what is, what, what, why is he doing that? Why does he look like that? That's weird. No, I don't get it. I don't understand. BPD Quadfecta. This one is for the ladies out there or really anyone with a Lexapro prescription. Okay, so after doing some careful thought and consideration, we're gonna be talking exclusively about the female fans for this one group, this one category. Okay, so for Hall, um, now that we've updated this, strong into female manipulator because they are known as, as the female manipulator band in the same way that the Smiths are known as the male manipulator band. Mitski would lean towards uh, autistic. I think it would be to the right of car seat headrest. As for TV Girl... You know what they say about TV Girl, actually. What do they say about TV Girl? Uh, they say TV Girl is female Frank Ocean. So I'm going to put them next to Frank Ocean. I've never actually heard that before, but if that's well, the case, I mean... I just said it now for the first time. So remember, you and I helped move a very normie girl into an apartment, and she had a normie roommate. That normie roommate had a bunch of albums in the wall. What other album on the wall did we see than the big... TV Girl album. You know what? Let's put her on the left side mm -hmm. of Elliot Smith, like underneath Kanye, Tyler. You could put okay, a like more to the left of that line. Yeah, I think like right there. I'll, t I'll take it. I'll take it. A Grimes will be... Let's put her right next to Mitski. If we're doing a comparison to Mitski, I'm going to say a bit more autistic than Mitski. We're on the same level, roughly, as Young Lean. I'd say that's pretty equivalent to Grimes. That's fair. Okay, I can totally see that. Loud and or horny. These bands are either loud or horny. Some are both. Deftones. I'm going to say they're as neurotypical as backseat lovers because they're also like platinum selling artists that have been headlining festivals consistently for the past i don't know 20 years i think just the fact that we've gotten this deep into this sphere between male manipulator and neurotypical it totally makes sense typo negative we're gonna take ourselves back to our roots here 
autistic virgin. Autistic because you're not going to see a lot of normies that, that are into actual goth music. The people who listen to Deftones, the neurotypicals that listen to Deftones are like, oh, goth, goth, goth Deftones girl. The, the, they don't even know about typo negative. So we got to reset that compass. We got to reset that scale back up to the positive towards autistic. Within the niche of actual real goth, typo negative could be considered a male manipulator band. But if we're looking in general, you would picture a more virgin type of dude. How do you feel about this placement right here? My Bloody Valentine. You discovered shoegaze yesterday for the first time. Autistic virgin. Slint. Slint cascaded up a bit. Bit more autistic, bit more virgin. People are uncomfortable with spoken word. The thes. This crowd is a bit older, but just as nerdy. It's older music, not in a cool way, but it's still very accessible, strong, neurotypical, but still virgin because they're, they're just kind of lame people. They're just kind of lame. They're like people that wear ill-fitting leather jackets and... They're probably like 35, 38. They're still talking about like the shows they went to when they were young. They're fixated on the idea of being a rock star. Maybe they work like like a middle management job. You think about Julian Casablancas, like yeah. he seems like a male manipulator type character, yeah, right? right? Except actually having met Real Strokes fans, um, there's like a lot of big nerds leaning more towards version, although I would put them above. Above Tame Impala. I think I know how this category is going to go. Watch this. It's in a reverse cascading effect. It's a bit bit more towards the neutral. Queens of the Stone Age, we just completed all four of the polls. Pure neurotypical. I would say putting the strokes uh, closer to Queens of the Stone Age. If the character from 500 Days of Summer was wearing a shirt with, you know, the Clash, yeah. then I'd say you would probably place them right underneath Elliot Smith. Okay. I'll take it. That, 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 that's close enough for me, to, for me to agree with that. Mew Chart Essentials. Bro really let the internet tell him what to listen to. Neutral Milk Hotel. Honestly, right into the cluster of Duster, Death Grips, JPEG really? Mafia territory. Yeah. But the music is so accessible. When I, when I think like, oh, like, oh, that's autistic music. That's for autistic. It's for music that's like, that sounds weird. That like normal people don't want anything to do with. What if we did this? That makes more sense, actually. Yeah. Okay, so back when this band got popular, the male manipulator meme wasn't really a thing. But now that that type of music is being reacclimated and it's being absorbed into like the, the Zoomer chronically online alt music sphere, they're sort of pulling it in towards male manipulator. They're appropriating it. They're bringing it into the world of male manipulator. Have a nice life. This is some sad, autistic virgin music. I'm really not going to put him too far away from Neutral Milk Hotel. When I think about something that reeks with this much depression, not too much towards male manipulator or virginity, just very, very, very depressing. Very doom and gloom and uh, darkness. God speed you, Black Emperor. First of all, a normie's like not, they're, they're going to hear that title and be like, oh, already I don't get it. Yeah, like I, I don't, why is there an exclamation in the middle of it? I don't, I don't get it. So we're already shifted up to autism here. You could put him to the right of, of My Bloody Valentine time i'm just imagining a bunch of dudes that are into weird um ambient stuff but it's not as virgin as radiohead obviously and it's kind of like close to slint which makes total I, sense to I, me i want to i, I want to put it like under slint I, yeah i can get down with that mac demarco this one's really tricky because there are two strong camps within mac demarco there are strong male manipulators in mac demarco there's strong versions of mac demarco either way they're neurotypical you know what to me it would make sense putting them above tame impala yeah be, because if you were to make a venn diagram of mac demarco fans and tame impala fans you'd pretty much have a circle swans i'm um, definitely within the sphere of like slint and godspeed you and uh definitely like you know up there in the autistic sphere so yeah bonus, bonus. Canceled, canceled honorable mentions, mentions. Neopunk FM.